Yeah, yesterday was the first time I played Fantasy Strike. Like, Fantasy Strike has simple inputs. There are other games that have pretty simple inputs. Not one button, but like pretty simple inputs. So I was kind of concerned about that, but after playing for a little while longer, I was like, oh, okay, it's not actually like that. It's because of the character I picked, I actually have to learn how to play her. I feel like the game's core is, is really interesting and really basic, and it's easy to grasp the concept of the game. Since the first time I played that PlayStation experience, seeing it progress into now, definitely uh, the graphics have been enhanced a lot. I got a chance to look at the button layout and everything, and it was super simple. Like, I got right into it. It actually had a very nostalgic feel like Street Fighter 2 adding the functionality of the Yomi counter, I think that's probably the biggest thing about the game that stands out from all other fighting games. When I first walked in here, this was the first booth I saw, and I had a double take, and I was like, I'm playing this. I didn't see any gameplay, because I was just walking, and I saw the background, and I was like, oh, that's so anime, I gotta play it. The art style really got to me. Well, you know what? This is my first day playing the game, and I felt like I was really discovering the layers of the game at an extremely high level in a very basic way. Brooke is a really popular character, like, uh, when you would just casually watch people playing, everyone's playing Rook. He has some versatility in a very grapplerish way, and he's he's just amazing to me. Like I, I, I like him. The game is, is pretty sick. I like it. Favorite character, Setsuki, because she's rushed down. When I picked her up, I was wasn't really expecting much, but nothing about her seems unfair, and I really like that. It kind of speaks to a lot of different archetypes that people like. Like for me, I mean, when I when I saw Rook, I was like, yep, that's the guy. When, you know, Lord Knight saw Valerie, I knew he was going to play her because, you know, he loves those kind of characters and he's, he's such a pain in the ass. Simply put, it's my aesthetic, I guess. I like the way she looks and then she is rushed down, but she also has really good neutral and mix up. So I feel like she's a very complete character. As far as learning process, if you pick like a, a zoner or a grappler, you can kind of learn in like five minutes and go. But if you pick one of the rushdown characters, you need to really learn how to play them and how the mechanics work. Or else you're going to think like you're going to have a gap in your play and it's going to be abused really bad because you die really quickly. Like any other fighting game, right? You just need to know what to do against other characters. When both people know for sure, then the game becomes more footsie based because no one wants to overextend because it, it, it snowballs really, really fast. You feel like you, like you get outplayed. Like I don't feel like in Street Fighter Five, a lot of people feel like, oh, I just lost because I guessed wrong 50-50. In Fantasy Strike, for the most part, you don't really feel like that. My favorite thing about the game is actually having one button reversals. That blocks out like the possibility of having executional error. And when it comes down to it, if I press one button, I pressed it. I didn't like accidentally import it or whatnot. And it allows me to move freely and focus on other aspects of the game rather than like, oh, I gotta like use all my energy just to anti-air somebody. I got a couple friends who are diehard Dissidia fans, and I love Dissidia just as much as them, but even I was, I was able to pull them away just for at least a good 20 minutes to come here and play it. And they say they actually really like it, and they'll come back and play some more. I enjoyed playing the tournament. It was fun. I'm good against Rook. He's good at Street Fighter, and he figured out something that was very problematic for the, how I played her. He figured out something that's good against how I was playing Valerie outright. So I had to change up my offense against him because he was getting guaranteed punishes on me a lot that other characters don't get. I felt like Grand Finals was pretty interesting because you got a guy from Street Fighter and then you got another guy that's from Guilty Gear. And it was interesting to me because I like to see all those different uh, players from those games collide against each other. It's just interesting to see those players play against each other. And that in Fantasy Strike, it kind of you know speaks to a lot of those players. It's simple enough to pick up and to master quickly, but really hard to actually be good at. And I think that's the part about it where the competitive aspect really comes into play. Because, I mean, we just had two tournaments today and you can definitely tell who was playing a lot more. And when two people who were actually playing a lot, how, how competitive it, it got and how just how hype it got. I mean, we're at EVO and I kind of wish this was on the Jumbotron. So as far as like, can it be competitive? I think it's a really good side game because you can learn it really fast. I mean, at most, like, what, the Ninja and Valerie will take you, like, a day to learn, and all the other characters probably take you an hour or two to learn. I mean, I think it has a good enough depth. Like, the meta is very simple. Like we mentioned before, it's just rock, paper, scissors, right? And when it comes down to decision making, that's the core factor of the game. So you can't just, like, recklessly just go in and mash buttons because then you get punished. There's certain limitations, so you can only strike when your opportunity arises. So when it comes down to decision making, I think that makes the best thing about fighting games. 
Fantasy Strike definitely could be a mainstream Evo game, I feel like. Obviously, it's not finished yet, but I, I can see that people are going to be playing this game. The game could definitely be one of the games that people would like to play.